What is up YouTube, back again. Today I got an awesome one for you. Everyone loved the spray foam last year when I did it. I used the Great Stuff spray foam last time. This time I actually tried out Loctite spray foam. So we'll see which one's better. Uh, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely big one. This thing's definitely bigger than a basketball. So uh, I'm gonna start out and put some spray foam inside of it. And then we're gonna spray anything else, cut it down. We'll bring this one home and uh, cut it open later because I'll fill it with the foam. So this one will be kind of short and sweet. So we're gonna get right to the point. I got Loctite brand this time. Heard it is better. We will see how that goes. whole bunch in there. Ooh. Let me put on my little plug for this straw. Right. Got some stuff to kind of spray down the stragglers here. Okay. <laughs> And that went from zero to 100 pretty much instantly. I definitely got a ton of it in there this time. Let's see if maybe works out a little better than in the last one. But uh, all in all, it was a pretty good success here. Hey, give it a minute, kill any other things that come over. You can see, we got some of them on the ground, no catching. I actually caught two of them. Very skilled at catching them nowadays. Mm -mm -mm. Yep, I knock you down with the spray and then I catch you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, they're all coming home now. No, you're not getting away, buddy. We never let you get away. That's not how it works out here, buddy. Quit <laughs> But, uh, yeah. I'll cut it down in a second here. I figured I'd, uh, try to drop a few more. Always good to reduce as many of the numbers as we can, especially when it's in someone's yard, so. <laughs> they like to swarm a lot more when the nest is here because they're like kind of defending it, I would guess you would say. But either way, definitely taking care of these guys. So uh, once I cut it down here, we're just gonna take it with us. And then, uh, like I said, 
I will cut this guy open. And we'll see uh, what's inside there. I like this stuff. I've been using this a lot lately, this flying insect spray safe to use inside the house so uh it's definitely a uh, lot friendlier of a spray and it knocks them down when they're flying so that's a benefit here oh, i know your home is going all the way guys it sucks Definitely got some of that foam up in there. Feels pretty heavy now, so really good size nest though. Definitely seems to work pretty good. I might just poke a hole up here in the top and spray some more in it. These dudes are swarming the crap out of me right now. Yeah, your nest is just magically gone again. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll uh, take our nest here with us and uh, we'll see. I mean, I gave it a good like five second squirt in there. I don't know if I should spray more in. I think we should just see how that worked out. But I'll hold the nest like this. I'll put it in my truck. And uh, other than that, there's one heck of a step. And inside. <laughs> so, after thinking about it again, I think we'll put one more hole in this thing. Yeah. Right through the top here. So that's a whole bunch in there. Mm. We'll see. I don't hear nothing uh, buzzing now, so I would say that was probably a pretty good success. But all in all, I'm gonna collect my stuff, and uh, we, we are all done here, guys. So. Uh, I'll do, uh, I'll do it now. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. But there is going to be about another couple minutes. I'm going to cut this open for you. So, see you guys soon. Alrighty. As you can see, we've got our nest. Uh, quite a bit of the foam protruded out of the entrance hole there. Yeah, a little bit out of the top. Uh, last time I used a, a little knife. No one liked it. So I figured this time we would do more like the channel. And we'd use Sawzah. I'm gonna cut it open. Uh, let me make sure. Zoop, my little TIG welder wand is not over there. We don't want that to get caught. But uh, we'll cut it open. We'll see exactly how uh, it foamed into the inside of the nest. And then uh, you guys be the judge. You can go back and watch the uh, Great Stuff spray foam and then compare it to this one. We'll see if Loctite did better or if spray foam. Let me know in the comments if you've already watched them both, which one you thought was better. And uh, we'll see. Uh, this one, the nest was in the people's backyard. As you already saw in the video, they had little kids and stuff. So it's a good thing that we removed it. And uh, let's see what's up in there. So that worked a lot better. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, so the foam definitely got the whole entrance filled. It didn't fill like a whole ton in these other levels. You can see it got around them. It definitely sealed everything in. We can even see some dead ones. Let me pause it for a second. I'm gonna throw my light on. It's a little dark in the garage. Alrighty, there we go. But as you can see, 
Did fill some in here. You can see we got a couple dead wasps right up top, but uh, definitely, you see that guy literally was encased in the foam, but uh, it definitely sealed everything in pretty well. You see it got up in the middle of the nest there. So, I mean, it did a pretty good job. I wouldn't say it was bad. It definitely sealed everything. Nothing was coming out in my truck as it sat there and dried. So I'd say all in all, it did a pretty darn good job. Uh, the foam is definitely really hard. As you can see, like I can't even, eh, I can rip it. it. Takes quite a bit of force to rip that foam though. I would say this foam is definitely a lot denser than the great stuff was when it's dry. But uh, other than that, did pretty good. We'll like cut in the middle here, see if anything even got in here, and uh, we'll check that out for you guys. And uh, other than that though, it was a pretty good success. I uh, definitely think the great stuff and the, uh, what, it, what was this, Loctite, they all work pretty good. Definitely do the job. Um, it seals them in the nest really fast too, which is cool. Definitely keeps them from getting out. As you see, it's actually quite a thick layer of foam that it put around them. But you can see the comb right here. It did not really affect the middle. So it really only gets the outside open area and then kind of seals everything from that point there. But definitely pretty cool. And like if we peeled off all of this outer shell, it would literally just be a big ball of foam. So I'm like, it actually did a pretty darn good job there. It's so hard to peel off, but you see what I'm talking about. It's literally just pure foam underneath it. So it definitely encased all of the free space. So it's definitely cool, but uh, as you can see, Got a lot of dead ones. You see some of them kind of stuck in the foam and stuff. So it's definitely a pretty cool one. Again, that guy. Yeah, there's another dead one right there. But uh, it was a pretty cool one. I hope you guys enjoyed. I was trying to get this out yesterday for Christmas. But with the holiday, a lot of things got tied up. So here we are now. I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, catch you guys on the next one.